Hi, I'm Dan and I'm on the PD team and we are going to learn about an awesome new tool from ViewSonic called ClassSwift. It's a software program that allows you to do formal and informal assessment in the moment. Here's how you get started with it. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to classswift.viewsonic.io. You're going to first download the ClassSwift client. Currently it's only for Windows, but we'll have other versions soon. And then you're going to need to select the Try ClassSwift link. This is going to let you sign up for an account. Once you have that, what you're going to see is you're going to have a client installed on your desktop. So you can see my ClassSwift icon is over here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give it a double click to open it. Now the first time you launch the client, you're gonna notice that you need to sign in. So you're gonna use that email that you used when you did the first initial sign up process. I'm gonna use my Microsoft account here. All right, once you have signed in to the client, it's going to let you uh, save your login information. So if you hit cancel, it will ask your email next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose save. So it automatically launches every time. And then you're gonna select your organization. I have a few here, but you'll probably only have one. We're gonna choose select. And then what this is gonna do is it's going to take us into our classes or to our rosters. Now, really quickly, I want you to notice at the bottom, you'll have the class Swift icon. It's just kind of floating. That client stays there on top of your other windows because we'll need to use it later. Uh, I already have added a period one class. You're gonna have a default class uh, and you'll see down here at the bottom, you can add new classes, uh, give it a name and choose how many students are in these classes. Uh, up at the top, you're going to see that there is this class Swift hub. This will open up your browser and what that's gonna let you do is you can go in and then start to manage uh, your classes or edit your roster. So for example, if I go into my period one here, I can edit this class uh, or I can go in and choose the students and put them in different groups. So I can basically assign their names. So there's a couple ways to think about using class with. You can have your pre-populated class rosters or you can do kind of guest in the moment where it allows the participants to type in their names. So what we're gonna do is we're going to show you how to get into these classes. So I'm gonna go back to my class Swift client and you're gonna see here if I go in and select say period one, there's this option to join the class. And when I do that, what happens is it allows me to then display this join link or this QR code. So there's a couple ways you can join Class Swift. You can do it by scanning the QR code or you can share the link. A lot of times sharing the link's a little easier. You can post it to say your LMS or you can email it out. I'm going to click the link which is going to copy it and then I'm gonna put it in our Teams chat here so I can share it with everybody who's here in the room. Now because I'm using my period one class, you'll notice that there are some pre-populated names that people can pick from and choose, but we're also going to have some uh, guests essentially that can come in and add. So what we're gonna do is we're going to let people join. Now I want you to notice here that as someone joins, it's going to pop up with their name. Tani was already in the list, but Mina was not. She was able to add her own name and then join the group. So. We're gonna go ahead and let everyone get joined here, but you can head over to the website, download the software, sign up for an account, get started with your rosters, and then this is how you allow uh, students to join or basically get started with your lessons.